Bueno, amigos, estamos en la Unboxing Toy Convention y para mí es un honor saludar a mi queridísimo amigo Steve Sansweet, que viene a presentarnos Rancho Obi-Wan. Hi, Steve. Welcome. Thank you. You're here on Unboxing Toy Convention, but you, I mean, we know way back here, like 20 years? This is my uh, eighth convention in Mexico City, so it's been a long time. So how's been, um, how far, how, um, how's been Unboxing Toy Convention for you? This is great because I love the so many different uh, aspects of popular culture. Uh, everything from He-Man to Star Wars to My Little Pony and uh, Masters of the Universe. And it's just, it's super seeing all these different things mixed together. Now, you, I mean, we know you uh, first as probably the uh, greatest collector of Star Wars memorabilia. Um, back then, you were uh, uh, you had a, a, an important part on Lucasfilm uh, doing this special merchandising and stuff. But now, you are mostly promoting Rancho Obi Wan. Rancho Obi Wan is a nonprofit museum that houses my collection. And uh, it lets me share the collection with the with the broader world. It, otherwise, it would be just it would be hoarding. It would be things in boxes, and uh, I don't like that. My fun is sharing it with people from all over the world. So, how is these uh, visit to Rancho Obi Wan? I mean, how can people go? Is it um, an online reservation? Um, how, how does it work? It's an online reservation. They go to RanchoObiWan.org and it lists the tour dates that are available. We limit the size of the tours to only 12 people each because the tours take about three hours. And we have docents and I do tours. And, um, but all the information is on the website. So they can just Google Rancho Obi-Wan and they'll find out the, the details. Now, for people in, 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 in the U.S., it's probably easy to uh, pinpoint the location, but here at us in, in Mexico, it's kind of difficult. So, if somebody wants to go to Rancho Obi-Wan, what is the best um, route, probably? We go to Los Angeles, we go to San Francisco, to Oakland, it's, where? where? It's about an hour from the airports in San Francisco and Oakland. So uh, you need to get a car. The public transportation isn't that great, but uh, um, we get people from uh, from all over. We've had people recently from Vietnam and Sweden and Dubai and Mexico and uh, Guatemala. And it's, it's wonderful meeting people from all over. Now, you have been as I said before, one of the greatest collectors uh, of Star Wars memorabilia. I mean, and I'm not talking only uh, action figures and, and cereal boxes, but pretty much Everything. the whole ranch. Everything. Now, uh, mo um, people like to share things. So if people would like to donate something to the rancho, how can they do it? They can send a message to info at ranchoobiwan.org and ask us if it's something that we would enjoy getting and people send us things that way and when I'm at a convention like this people give me things too so it's very nice uh, and the other side of the of, of, of the spectrum if somebody goes to Rancho Obi-Wan of course there's a lot of things that probably we've we've never seen in our life and we would probably would like we would ask Can I buy that? Um, do you have like a, I don't know, like a gift shop or something, or or is it possible to buy part of the collection, maybe? Well, not part of the collection, but we have a gift shop. We have T-shirts and caps and mugs and patches, some of which I brought here. Photos. Um, so typical kind of souvenirs that you would find at a gift shop. Right. So now. The first time I met you, it was way back. Uh, we only had three movies. Now we have eight of the canon. So, I mean, at some point it was so limited the kind, the, the 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 quantity of things that they were uh, about the series. Now it's 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 amazing the the, the way they expanded. So. Um, 
how you see things uh, regarding this? I mean, from episode one to now episode eight, um, how how's been for you this uh, change in in, 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 in in marketing and how you see new uh, new audience coming to the franchise? Well, there's a there's a lot more to choose from, and it, it, everyone doesn't have to love every movie. You can pick and choose what you really like. And now we have our third generation coming in. So we find people who first saw episode one in the movie theaters, that's their favorite movie. And now we have, we have kids who have seen the Clone Wars on TV, and that's their entry point into Star Wars. And now we have the new movies, episodes you know, seven and eight, and Rogue One and Solo. So people get into Star Wars in many different ways. As far as the merchandise, there is so much out there now. So what would you consider it's your favorite piece? Maybe in your collection, probably isn't it? Maybe not. What do you think it's the uh, most um, important piece for you? What's the, the best one, the, the one that you like the most? My favorite piece is a simple painted banner that was painted by Joe Johnston who was the art director of ILM and then went on to become a director. And it was, he painted the, the logo Star Wars and it has Ralph McQuarrie art on it. And they used it at fan conventions a year before the movie came out, so 1976. And Star Wars really pioneered going to fan conventions for movie companies. And that's something that I did many, many years later when I was at Lucasfilm and head of fan relations. So that banner means a, quite a deal to me. Wow, that's amazing. And people will ask, uh, again, what's the, I don't know, cheesiest thing? I, I don't know. The, the, I don't know. The, the cheesiest thing in the collection is a, a, dar, a, a, Jar, a Jar Jar Binks Monster Mouth Tongue Pop. It's Japanese or something? <laughs> no, it's American, and it's pretty awful. The tongue comes out, and you <laughs> suck on it, and it, disgusting wow. well Steve um, it's been it's been a pleasure again so uh, let's um, put again uh, the information for for our audience to visit Rancho Obi-Wan you gotta do you go to Rancho Obi-Wan.org and go to the page that says tours and you get all the information about pricing and you can book a tour online okay. and you do some of the tours or I, you have people do it? I do some of the tours and we have docents that do the majority of the tours. So it's, it's random, nobody knows. Where it, you know in advance whether I'm doing it or whether a docent is doing it. Okay, that's great. Steve, thank you very much thank for you. Uh, coming here to Unboxing Toy Convention. It's, it's been great, it really has been. And well, Mexico loves you and well, and I welcome and, every time. And I love Mexico, so it's equal. Thank you very much. Bueno, juego amigos, Steve Sansu de aquí. Vayan, si tienen oportunidad, visiten Rancho Obi Wan, una colección impresionante. Y bueno, pues nosotros seguimos aquí en Unboxing Toy Convention. Yo soy Ricardo Méndez y están viendo juegos, juguetes y coleccionables.